Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War simulation. It is year one of our Lord in North and South or Central America, all right? Uh, year one, this is what the demographics of people, all right, the power of people looks like. Only 14 greater nations or tribes or uh, types of people, all right? Um, as you can see, most being in the eastern part of North America, with the exception of uh, the Zapotec people and uh, Teotihuacan. All right, I know there's a proper way of pronouncing that, but you're not going to hear it from me. In Mexico, we have the coastal Salish or Salish people. All right, in the uh, northwest portion of North America, uh, the Washo, Marti people, the Pueblo people out west all right but most of your tribes greater people uh nations or whatever are going to be out east i say whatever and blah 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 because of course uh in year one uh after christ uh, north america a lot less developed civilized uh compared to you know europe in the middle east right um uh, not much is known about uh, this time, all right? Overall, a lot of it is, uh, you know, speculation based on archaeology and, you know, uh, artifacts that people have found. But it's a very fascinating uh, time period and a very fascinating part of our history that you never really hear about in um, the history books or in school, really. is You know, you usually hear about the Native Americans and all that uh, right before Europeans landed. You don't get that deep, rich uh, possible history. But uh, the Greater Woodland Peoples, all right, um, is going to be the largest nation probably encompassing uh, this whole big area. And within you have some other, like the uh, Hopwell Peoples, Adena, uh, Marksville, and then you have a few others. Um, around former Texas, like the Mill Creek and Mossy Grove. Um, and then in this kind of Georgia, Florida area, you have the St. John's people. My history on this stuff isn't super great whatsoever. Um, however, I found this on a uh, map, all right, this big public domain map called runningreality.org, uh, which kind of shows the world through history over time. Um, Overall, it seems pretty accurate, even though it's open source. I will put that in the link description. Anyways, let's get on to see uh, which peoples or tribe nation would rule America if they all knew about each other and had the availability to go on an all-out war in North America in year one of our Lord. So let's run this up, just see what happens. Uh, this is very different to what I usually do on this uh, on these type of simulations, but I want to get some historical ones run up for all my fellow history nerds out there. So if you end up liking this or like the idea of it, let me know. The first conquer is going to be the Mill Creek people, uh, conquered by the the, the Forsh Maline, maybe, up here. Uh, so we'll see what happens next. It looks like we have the Marksville people being taken out by the Hopwell. That's going to be what happens next. Um, obviously, back then, they didn't really have navies, all right, maybe canoes, um, so I doubt there's going to be much fighting in reality in the Gulf of Mexico, but, you know, they're on their canoes battling out in the Gulf, I guess. Uh, we have Mossy Grove taken out by, uh, you know, the city of Tio Shishawan Chicken, all right, um, don't ban me for that one. We have the Zapotec people being flooded in in a naval invasion by the Woodland, Greater Woodland people. Uh, so that's very interesting. Let's see who's going to win here. It's going to be the Hopwell taken out by Adina, although Woodland going to get most of that. We already have nine nations or greater people's culture um, left. All right, just taking a look at the map. It's pretty split up out west, but you have the Puebla um, stretching from what uh, what would be Montana all the way down to uh, this northeastern part of Mexico. Uh, Woodland has this uh, south part of Mexico as well. And then you have the St. John's people controlling most of the Caribbean. It looks like we're going to have uh, the, the Forche Maline 
taken out here pretty soon. St. John is people making their push. All right. Pushing up into the woodland. Um, Puebla uh, getting most of Mexico now. The Washoe people pushing up into the great north white Canada. I'm just kind of focusing more down south because it's nothing but Arctic woodland up there. Not much is going on. Adena is going to be the next to be conquered by the St. Johnus people. All right. Having most of the southeast. And now the great woodland culture, the great woodland people um, taken out as well. So we only have five left. It looks like the uh, the Forche Maline were able to survive a little bit longer than I thought they were. All right. My bet's on either the St. Johnus or Puebla people right now. Um, the Washoe now taken out. And then we have the Marti, or the Martis, Marti people um, doing their thing. So who is going to win in the year one if there was a huge civil war? If all these peoples and tribes, cultures knew about each other and just wanted to, you know, complete their own version of Manifest Destiny, who would win? It's down to the final three. Um, St. Johnus, all right, the Puebla people actually were taken out. Let me know if you like the idea of this once again. Uh, I kind of want to go through uh, North America through the years, how the different tribes and actual nations and stuff like that form and um, kind of battle it out and just see what happens. And it looks like it's going to be the Marti people, the Martis. All right. The, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looks like they're going to be the ones that win this first simulation. Again, my history... Um, on this far back in America, not very knowledgeable. Okay, a lot, most of these, except for like the woodland and Puebla, um, I had no idea about. Um, and again, a lot of this is you know is history, um, but a lot of it's speculation. Since um, of course, back in one, the year one of our Lord, uh, not much was documented in this western side of the world, right? Except for what we find through archaeology. Um, but let me know what you think about the idea of running this up over the years through North America. Maybe I could do a global one, um, although um, my global history definitely isn't as knowledgeable, and that's a lot to keep up with during a simulation. But hit me with that like button if you want to see more. This was more of an introductory uh, type video into this uh, idea. Um, if you want to see more of these in general and want to be a part of something, uh, join the Southern Woods community and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, y'all, shout out to you know the, the Martese people, Southern Woods out.